guess. Ironically, I was supposed to be evaluating Jack and I, and uh, that opportunity is missed. Yet, as we've heard tonight, Jack was a man who went after opportunities and lived life to the fullest. And in an email I sent today, uh, I actually believe that he went out stock he was with his family, with his friends. He had just seen an inspirational movie of, of something that he loved, and he kind of like ended on a show. And, and for those of you who had gone to the Wednesday night real estate meeting, you could have seen another side of Jack too, as he led the group, got up jumped all around and was quite a funny guy and uh, quite a savvy investor and quite a wise man. Always a facilitator of togetherness and sharing of knowledge and, and, and helping other people. Joan's speech tonight, was, she's the grand dam of our room, of Toastmasters. I mean, I was looking at the table of contents here. Organized speech, how she said it, her body speaks, vocal variety, research the topic she knew all about yet, persuade with power, and ultimately inspire your audience. And hearing about Jack, are we not all inspired? Because for me, Jack presented to me what I want to be when I'm over 80 years old. Out there swinging the bat, yeah. out there caring about people out there, yes. living life, not retired on some golf course, living life, and that's the reason why he was sharp as a pack. Mm -hmm. And so, as Mary Ann, what you read for our invocation, I challenge everybody to read that every single morning. Imagine how you'd live your life after that. With that, the red light is on. Thank you. <laughs>